You know, there are almost 200 countries in the world. Hey, I've counted them! And each one is unique. Some have legendary athletes. Other places are home to animals that don't live anywhere else. Some states have an unusual geographic position. And in others, people can enjoy 1,500 varieties of bread. Ready for a bunch of eye-openers? Well then, close your eyes and watch this! Wait a minute, open your eyes and watch. Yeah, that's better. Hydropower used to make up over 50% of all the power used in Sri Lanka. And even though it's around 20% now, it's still pretty impressive. This hydro-powered electricity is possible thanks to waterfalls, rivers, and abundant rains in the country. 75% of all spices on the international market are produced in India. It makes the country the world's leader in spice production. It exports 180 kinds of spices to over 160 countries. Brazil has won the most FIFA World Cups in history. With five victories so far, this South American country has a knack for producing amazingly talented soccer players. The capital city of the Philippines, Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities make up Metro Manila. This metropolitan area has a population of almost 13 million people. During the daytime, this number gets way higher since many people come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound all that crazy, take note that 1.8 million people live and work in the capital city alone, on an area of 15 square miles. It makes the population density 119,000 people per square mile. That's way higher than in Mumbai or Paris. Nepal is a record holder of a country. It has the world's tallest mountain, the great and mighty Mount Everest, and the world's deepest gorge, Kali Gandaki. Nepal also has a super high concentration of world heritage sites. Within a 10-mile radius, there are seven of them. You'd expect some wintry place like Finland to hold the world's largest Christmas tree record. But the tallest Christmas tree on the planet was registered by the Guinness World Records in Sri Lanka in 2017. It stood at 236 feet tall and was made from metal and wood. The so-called tree was also decorated with 600,000 LED bulbs that lit up at night. The construction looked more like a spaceship to many and cost the country about $80,000. When you travel along the Trans-Canada Highway and reach Quebec province, pay attention! You may see the most cheerful town in the world, Saint louis du ha ha Yep, just like that, with two ha's and two exclamation marks. The town even has a Guinness World Record for the most exclamation marks in a town name. Normally, road signs give you precautions or inform you about something. But in Australia, some roads are so long and boring, people install signs to entertain drivers. These signs can contain images of rich local fauna or trivia questions. They keep you alert, which can save your life in a fatigue zone. More than 96% of Romania's population owns a home, which is a pretty amazing figure. It's actually so amazing that Romania is number one in the world for home ownership. Pakistan has a unique geographic location at the crossroads of the Middle East, Central Asia, China, and South Asia. The country also boasts the second largest and one of the oldest salt mines in the world. The Mayo Salt Mine has over 300 million tons of salt in its reserves. Singapore Changi Airport has been winning the world's best airport title for seven years in a row. What's so special about this transportation hub? It might be the butterfly, orchid, sunflower, cactus, and water lily gardens there. Or perhaps it's the airport's rooftop pool the Xbox 360 station, or the movie theater. Six dining halls all specializing in different cuisines, countless gourmet restaurants, and the Hello Kitty Orchid Garden Cafe might also have contributed to the victory. Around 89 million visitors set foot on French soil every year. It makes France the most visited country in the world. Mongolia is the place to live if you need a lot of personal space. It's one of the least populated countries on the planet. To be precise, its population density is just 5 people per square mile. This is mostly because of its mountain ranges and the Gobi Desert. 
Canada is officially the most educated country in the world, with 56% of its population having some kind of post-high school education degree. The federation of seven extremely rich Arabian Emirates can boast not only endless deserts and white sandy beaches, they've also got the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. It houses the second highest observation deck and has an elevator with the longest travel distance on the planet. The Netherlands is the country with the largest number of bikes per capita. The population of 17 million people has 22.5 million bicycles. The total length of the Dutch cycle network is about 22,000 miles. That's almost all the way across the planet. 36% of people use bikes as their main mode of transportation. High-speed trains, anime, manja, sumo wrestling, elaborate tea ceremonies. What do you think Japan is number one in? It excels at many things, but it also has the most three-star Michelin restaurants in the world, with 34 of them in total. Panama has the largest shipping fleet in the world. It consists of more than 9,000 vessels. The country's convenient geographical location as a gateway connecting two oceans and good conditions for ship owners must be the reason for that. In Germany, everything is in perfect order. Their public transportation system is impeccable, and their trains are pretty much always on time. Oh, and they also have over 1,500 varieties of bread. Oh man, give me some dark rye or pumpernickel! San Marino is the only country in the world where there are more cars than people. It's the number one in the world for motor vehicles per capita. 1,263 automobiles per 1,000 people. Côte d'Ivoire, also known as the Ivory Coast, is the world leader in the production and export of cocoa beans. It produces one-third of the whole world's supply of cocoa. In 2017 alone, it pumped out 400 billion pounds of the stuff. And I think I ate about half of that. Before going inside a building in Japan, you can park and lock your umbrella, just like you do with your bike. You can be sure no one will take it. And you won't make a puddle on the floor if your umbrella is wet. Most government buildings, offices, and hotels have this sort of umbrella rack. The World Health Organization named Estonia as one of the countries with the cleanest air. It also has great conditions for startups, with 30 of those per 100,000 people. Picturesque Italy is the country with the highest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. There are 55 of them all over the place. Italy also has the only active volcanoes in mainland Europe, including the famous Mount Etna in Sicily. The people of Turkey are the biggest tea lovers in the world. The average person uses 16 pounds of tea leaves per year. It means most people drink 3 to 5 cups of tea every day. Papua New Guinea has three official languages, which isn't all that impressive. But a total of 832 living languages are also spoken across its lands. That's the highest number in the world for one country. There are 10 times more camels than koalas in Australia. And as paradoxically as it may sound, this country is also the main camel supplier for most Middle East countries. Japan has more than 5 million vending machines, mostly because they save time for people who work late hours, which is a pretty common thing there. Japanese vending machines aren't just for snacks and soda. You can buy basically anything from live lobsters to umbrellas in these machines. Wow, a lobster vending machine! Canadians eat more macaroni and cheese than any other nation in the world. By the way, the very first cheese and pasta casserole recipe appeared in Canada already in the 14th century. Greece, a hot southern European country, is the third biggest olive oil producer on the planet. But even though the country produces just 10% of the world's total, its inhabitants consume huge amounts of this product – 10 gallons per person a year. Australian dollar banknotes have been made of a polymer, which is a special kind of plastic, since 1988. Australia was the first country in the world to introduce polymer money. Such notes are more practical since they stay in good condition for a longer period of time than paper banknotes. 
Police officers in some Indian states get a bonus if they have a mustache. The idea is that a mustache makes men more reputable and manly. Mm-hmm. The difference in the pay rate is actually only 30 rupees, which is about 50 cents. But hey, that adds up over time. Please tell me something really cool about the country or town where you live down in the comments. Love to read those. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.